official start of summer, which means we're all heading off to area lakes and pools with hopes of cooling off. And to ensure that residents remain safe while out enjoying the warm weather, health officials are not only recommending sunscreen and staying hydrated, but also encouraging parents to get their kids swimming lessons. Christine Conti has the story. Drowning is the second leading cause of death among children between the ages of 1 and 14. That according to Dutchess County health officials. Drowning can happen very quickly. It's a quick and silent killer. Unfortunately, it's not like we see in the movies with the waving and the screaming out. Um, it really isn't. There's limited time. A child has about 20 seconds to struggle. An adult can struggle up to a minute. And it's very fast and it's very silent. Gina Mitchell is responsible for training many local pool and beach lifeguards on the importance and seriousness of their jobs. But Mitchell says what frustrates her most is that many parents view lifeguards as personal babysitters. Mitchell says while lifeguarding is treated with the same level of seriousness as emergency response professionals, lifeguards are human and can sometimes become tired and distracted while watching your precious children. Um, a lot of times parents might think other parents are watching or they drop their kids off at a place like All Sport and they might disappear. And really, the, as many eyes on the water as you can have is wonderful. Um, people get so easily distracted and because you only have the 20 seconds for a small child to struggle, it can happen so quickly. You really have to always be um, diligent and pay attention. The aquatic director at All Sports in Fishkill says her lifeguards meet regularly to discuss warning signs and risks because guests don't come with labels that say that they can or can't swim, have a disability, or are on medication. Kids these days, and, and adults for that matter, don't always know how to swim. They think they do. Signs that we have them look, be aware of, is whether they're hanging on the rope, hanging on the side of the pool. We want to make sure that they're not horse playing, hanging on to each other. Part of Mitchell's seminar shows a near drowning at a pool without a lifeguard. The incident was captured on surveillance video and shows a boy struggling in the deep end of an apartment complex pool. Once the family member realized that the swimmer was in distress, he came over, and it's very hard to save someone, so he tried to save him. He pulled him over a little bit, actually into deeper water, unfortunately, and then had to save himself and get to the side of the pool. The failed rescuer is finally able to get the attention of others, and they were able to dive in and rescue the boy. CPR was quickly performed, and in this case, the victim was able to walk away. Hopefully, again, we always encourage everybody, not just lifeguards, to learn CPR. That is critical. Um, I've taken the course myself. It's a wonderful course. You should take it every year at least. Um, once somebody's brought out, to the, out of the water, you should perform CPR immediately, compressions and breaths, and always try to have a backup person because you do get tired when you perform the CPR. Time is of the essence. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, brain damage could occur in four to six minutes. Mitchell says learning how to swim can't be overstated enough. Every child should be encouraged to take swimming lessons. The most important message health officials want you to take away from this drowning prevention and pool safety is that you keep your eyes on your kids at all times because it takes as little as one inch of water for a child to drown. For Cablevision News, I'm Christine Conti.